Hello. Hello. I hope you are all well, and I hope you tried some of the recipes, the previous ones. Uh, we had lentils, we had the soup, and we had the carrot salad. So today we are going to make some uh, Moroccan tagine. So for those of you who don't know uh, what is a tagine, a tagine is... Uh, so how are you doing? Please uh, let me know how you're doing. Please, if you have any questions or anything, just pop, pop them down and I will, I will get back to you. And uh, if you, um, you're not sure, if you're cooking with me, just follow me and I will just get, get on with it, really. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, what I would for those of you who don't have, a, who never knew what is a tagine, I, uh, oops. Something not right. Uh, my uh, camera, the other camera is not working. What? Sorry. Oops, here it is. Sorry. So, sorry, it's always something with the technology, is it? So for those of you who don't know what is a tagine, a tagine is a clay dish. It's looking like this. It's a little, this one is a little sample baby one. And it's a, it's a clay and it's glazed, this one. And sometimes they come with, uh, with no glaze. And uh, I think what I heard from uh, old, um, old days and uh, everyone that's, that's been in Morocco and uh, like people, they do tend to use non-glazed ones more than glazed ones. But don't confuse this glaze with the glaze that we, we have here, like the modern ones. The modern ones are, are better, are, are different glazes. Like the reason why people say, oh, uh, non-glazed ones are better, it just, you know, it's, uh, it's really for the non-European country standards with the glazing, and that's why. Why? So this one is a small one, like you say. You put all your vegetable there, and uh, all the 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 way it cooks is um, the all the steam goes up, then comes down, and that's how it, the vegetables are cooked. Uh, but today we are not going to use the the tagine. Because, <laughs> because the induction rail doesn't accept uh, accepts it really. So what I would like to, to, to use is um, just a plain, like a, a dish like this one, shallow one, that you can use on the hob and uh, you can use on any, any, um, any induction rail or you can use on the hob like gas or electrics or whatever. And if you don't have one of these, you can use a pan normal pan but you just have to to do what we are going to do with it so to start with we are going to lay this uh, these vegetables that we have so what i have here i have some celery and the celery is just to put the, at the bottom of, of the pan so the vegetable doesn't stick uh, uh, because it would take a bit of, of time to cook everything the um, everything there would take a bit of time like this is we're talking about slow cooking and really cooked so slowly then we are going to use uh, i've got here some potatoes and uh, i'm going to slice them very thinly like um, like so i uh, did some of them so really thin thin potatoes like that then i have fish uh, like uh, i have some green peppers this is a good way to use green peppers because a lot of times we don't really use them enough in salads and all that, a lot of times we use red and orange and yellow peppers, but these are full of vitamin C and they are good for a healthy, uh, healthy, uh, healthy uh, vegetable. So this is one way to use them, cook them or, or stuff them. I will do another recipe sometime, another day with, when we do stuff these vegetables, these this peppers, and they, they are good. So I have here uh, also, I have some courgettes, so courgettes, again, is a good vegetable to use in this dish. 
Um, I have some aubergine. This is if you don't like aubergine. Aubergines don't use them and it's up to you. If you fancy different vegetables to these, you can you can choose whatever you, you like. And the main thing is to have vegetables. The main thing is to cook with vegetables. You can use a, a, a peas, like add peas to it. You can add um, cauliflower. You can you can uh, use um, butternut squash and uh, and uh, and uh, sweet potatoes. Whatever you like, really. And just mainly is to have a, as much vegetables as you can. Healthy and and really hearty food that's what you what we are after um we need some spices as you might guess so we need the spices the spices we need are we need cumin we need paprika we need the uh, coriander powder a bit of uh, black pepper turmeric and a bit of ginger and like i said it's always handy to include these ginger and turmeric in your food they are it's good. They are healthy, uh, uh, healthy uh, spices, and they are aromatic. You don't have to have anything very spicy. So you always um, choose to to eat or not to eat spices. That's Moroccan cooking. That's the authentic way. You can make it spicy, hot. You can make it aromatic with no spice, with no hot heat. We have here. We have uh, coriander. And some uh, I blended uh, or uh, uh, chopped it with some garlic, about three, two, three uh, cloves of garlic. Depends how big they are. So we'll use that. I also have uh, olive oil. I have some olives today with for with this one, and I have some tomato passata. If you don't have tomato passata, you can. Uh, I, I always I use it because um, the idea is came from when if you have children and they don't like little bits, they won't eat much. So what you do, you either blend the tin of tomato or uh, buy a, a pack like this and there's no pips, no, no, no pieces. And that makes a juice. It gives you some gravy to dip the bread in and to, to have on the rice or to have on couscous or whatever you you, you are doing. Okay, so let's start. Now we are going to start with this. So what I'm going to do with the with the, the vegetable and the, the celery and everything. So I would just chop the celery like this. Random, really. I don't, I just want them. You could leave them like that if you want, uh, randomly, uh, however, uh, like this. And the, the reason why I'm putting them in is because I would like them to protect my vegetables. I don't want the, my vegetable to stick to the bottom of the pan. This is a traditional way <laughs> to, to use, uh, like uh, when they used to use these tagines, they used to make uh, fish tagines and uh, um, like vegetable tagines or meats or whatever. And the mothers, they always had that because of the heat of, of the, the fire uh, all the, uh, on the tagine, they get too hot, and they start to use these these uh, uh, methods like celery sticks, or sometimes they cut carrots into small skinny batons like this, and they put them at the bottom. Other times they used uh, um, what you call it, um, like um, bamboo sticks, and they use them for to protect the fish if they're making a fish tagine. They put the bamboo sticks at the bottom and they put the, the fish um, on the top and that would cook the fish without getting uh, st stuck to the bottom of the tagine or a pan, whatever they're using. So we are going to uh, do this with the fish, with the potatoes, uh, like slice these potatoes. And like you say, don't, don't do this if you are not used to it. I'm using uh, slicing the potatoes straight in. And uh, you can use any potatoes. I had a few baby boils here, and that's what I used. Whoops, it's one full of pepper. Any questions, please don't uh, uh, just put them down. I will get back to you. Oh, sorry. Uh, can you see me now? Sorry. I... Uh... I'll just check, I can't see the camera there, but 
It must be the your phone, Vic. Thank you. Okay, so that's uh, no, yeah, it must be that uh, was uh, from earlier. I didn't see it. So all the the potatoes, like I said, sliced and put very thinly. So the reason why I'm cutting them this way are because um, to cook quicker and because with the time and all that, way, I'm hoping to show you the the end results because that's why I'm cutting them very thin. Um, if you have big potatoes, just use two, three. Depending all the quantities, actually, I use this uh, quantities depends how many people you are feeding. If you are feed, uh, you have good feeders, uh, like they like to eat too much, you put extras. If 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 you don't, just use small portions. Okay, so once I do this, the next bit I would chop some uh, courgettes. And you can cut them, uh, like slice them, or however, you can make them fancy. Play with the vegetables, they make it like arty. And really, your eye eats first. I always say this to everyone. I, I am like that. I am, I just do uh, the, the colors and makes me happy when I see different colors veg. That's, that's something, that, I don't know, do you feel the same? <laughs> You feel happy, happier when you see greens and, and yellows and reds, um, you know, like with clothes, uh, the same like food. It's what you want to eat and it's really, really pretty. Then I would take the, 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 the aubergines. So for the aubergines, you can chop them like a long way or you can chop them like cubic, uh, cubes or, or round. Just keep them around. We'll keep everything around this today. And, and with aubergines, they are, they might find them a bit, sometimes they might uh, go a bit uh, darker. Don't worry about that. It's okay. They would, they would cook. And then the main thing, if they are cooked, they are okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's the main, the main thing is to cook them well and uh, the, to be, to have them like, uh, okay, so just arrange it like you like, uh, or however you think. And the um, aubergines, obviously, they are very popular with vegetarian people. So you can use uh, aubergines with a lot of a lot of recipes. I will I will do more recipes with aubergines in the future, and uh, you would see how how much you can uh, you can make of these these vegetables. You will never have enough of it. It's a variety of uh, of, veg of uh, recipes you can use. You can grill them. You can do all sorts. Make a dips with them. This is a very good uh, vegan, I would say, as well. Not just vegetarian because we're not using any any uh, eggs or anything. So just that's. Yeah, you see that's our, and you see how we start to build up, and you can tell, you can see like the colors are, a bit, getting. There's the green, the red now. So just keep adding to it, add to, to the colors and to everything. It, it does give like one one piece of of vegetable each uh, uh, of each vegetables it gives quite a bit and you'd be surprised how much you can you can make uh, like how big the quantity would be and um, you cook it then next um, like if you don't eat it all put it in the freezer these recipes are good for people that they live on their own and if you cook once you can you 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 have uh, like a two nights meal or you can freeze half and uh, put the other half in the, uh, in the uh, eat some and uh, leave the rest for the freezer. And this, uh, you can even like this quantity, if it's only one person, you could share it for three times. It all depends how much you, you enjoy your food and how much you eat. 
this stuff, I just found the potato that I can add there. So this is, you see, this is really pretty. This is, do you think that's, it looks so nice. And so this is what I would say. If you like uh, uh, um, spicy, spicy food, what you can do, you can just put one of these chilies or two, whatever, and put it on the top there and you would cook with the vegetables. Then you can just mix it with your, with your, uh, on your plate. But if you like it all over, you can use, uh, you can use, uh, for example, uh, tomato, uh, uh, harissa, uh, harissa or chili powder in, in this. So, so once I'll take this so I can still use this just to see. So once you, you, you did that, you put it to one side. Now we are going to make a sauce. And the, or or like uh, uh, the base, what we we'll call it, charmola, and charmola could uh, this could go with the fish as well. So about I would say one and a half to two tablespoons of of garlic and the coriander. Then you add the the uh, teaspoon of turmeric. I always add more turmeric, and teaspoon of um, cumin, a teaspoon of coriander powder, uh, some just half teaspoon of, of black pepper. And here we'll have a, a ginger and I would put a teaspoon of ginger. If you don't like, like don't want to put ginger in, don't worry, put it uh, just opposite. It's, um, so, and we'll have the paprika just to add a little bit of color. Then I have here some salt and salt to your taste. So it's, if you don't, I would, I would say if you like salt, just please do less salt if you can. Anyway, you can always add it with the cracked salt instead of, of uh, having, um, having, more and having the food salty okay so look at this this is our i would i, I, I will call it charmola but what you are going to do with this you are going to put it on the top of that the vegetables all the vegetables at this point if you are if you are not a, a vegetarian you can you can take some out and put it with some fish or some chicken and cook it later. Um, if you are a vegetarian, just do it with, without it. Okay, so can you see this? This is our, our mix, our charmola stuff. Now, what I would add to it is half, half of this passata because it's a big, big carton. I would add half of it. And this is our our gravy, our juice, our everything. So once we add this, I would just add very little water and that's it. So what I'll do now, I'll add that water here and that would give me, give me really good, could you see all that? I haven't put any oil yet, but I will, I will put some olive oil. Okay, so we'll go back, get back to this, uh, to our pan. And what I would do, I would just like water everything. Can you see? Everything, all the vegetables are really covered with, the, with, this, with this juice. If you see this is, the sauce is a bit thick, just uh, add a bit of water. And because you need to have a bit of water just in case um, for your pan, especially if you are cooking like um, an electric pan, you need a bit of juice there. Can you see what I've done? So all this, it's all covered with all the... the and once you do that, you take take your um, 
uh, it starts to put the, the fire on. Oops, come on. So just put this on. Okay, well, so while I'm getting I keep putting safety is uh, safety lock for some reason. Let's start again. So I'll put the olive oil and just a, like a drizzle of olive oil, about three to four tablespoons of olive oil. If you see what I mean, I'm just doing it this way, but you can measure your oil, like I say, three to four uh, tablespoons. And I, I would say about four, four tablespoons if it's, uh, so you wanted that, that juice to, to be, a bit I, I I know sometimes you say on you you look at it and you say oh that's too oily you are using olive oil so it's no you are not you are not using any oil olive oil it's healthy it's uh, uh, it's good for you and um, of course you you keeping it uh, oh what's going on with this? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. That's good now. Sorry about this. Um, so that's our tagine all done. And if you have a tagine, you had a way just uh, past uh, Christmas and you, you received a, a gift as a tagine, please just go, um, what you can do is you can make this dish and you can, uh, some tagines, they can cook in the oven, others they cook uh, on the oven, on, on the hob. Uh, so um, just try it, try this this way and see how it goes. Um, I'm never, I'm never sure. I, I had questions like uh, about is the modern tagines, uh, they are, are they, are they a we are able to use them um, on the hob? To be honest, just follow the instructions. That's what I would say if you had that uh, in your mind. Um, so the other way you can you can use the the peppers are so that's what I would say. So you can cut the peppers like this, and you can come and just follow the pattern, different patterns, different textures different colors and that's our really lovely lovely tagine so this is really nice nicely done and it's very very good uh, very good um, way let's see, show you just keep it something went wrong in that other camera so i'll just keep this on for you so you can see what's what we're doing if you have tomatoes and you want uh, like fresh tomatoes you can add another one it's on the top of that as well it's all these lo lovely textures and lovely uh, lovely colors Yes, that's good. Keep the camera on for it so you can see. Any questions, please just pop them up there. And we just have to see how this goes. This would take a bit of time, to be honest. Uh, it won't, it's not something that you would cook in, uh, I would say, about altogether one, one hour on the hobs just so everything is well cooked and 
nice and and um, soft for for you that's what what i would say so um yeah every anything please don't uh, just keep in touch and please um, give me some questions if you need any anything just keep asking if you need any um, if you have any questions about the previous sessions or the previous the previous uh, recipes please let me know and I, I will I will answer that as well and um, yeah that would be would be really good to to interact with you and let me know if you cooked any of the the recipes please <laughs> because this is the, the main thing is to to, lo to learn from each other and if you did something different just let me know about it and uh, that will share it with the group as well and so they can they can take it from you as well i know sometimes you you see someone making a, or cooking a recipe and you go in the kitchen and you do what they they ask they say but you always want to add something well yes that's nothing wrong with that you always it's always good to to have something different and it's always nice to to share with people um, or or make it your own put your own stamp on it that's a really um, a good way to to learn and to share yeah it's coming to the boil now a bit slowly <laughs> slowly so i um, i will be putting a bit of um, olives if you like olives yeah you can use green olives or you can use um, like a, a red olives with this recipe um, just spray once it's cooked and all that take them out and put and sprinkle them on the top and that would give us more extra extra flavor and will give us a lot something else and um like i, I would say again olives are good for you and uh, some people uh, even like uh, approves to them that they they keep their skin uh, good and all that so it's uh, it's all chemical chemically uh, so it's all the chemical reactions with the body and uh, with the the food and the body. So it's always like um, in Morocco. This is this is something that we do. Um, like if we don't have meat in the house or um, we we don't have much money, we just look in the fridge or go to the market and buy a lot of vegetables and come home and uh, prepare them then then uh, have have a, a meal like that and we we eat a lot of vegetables um we don't we are not really um we eat meat but we do eat vegetables as well and we are not shy or or we won't see it as something that if we don't have meat we are uh, it's the end of the world we always um, have something else if if we don't have meat. Uh, just to remind you that this uh, when once it's cooked and all that, you can make your own bread. That would be really great if you if you can. If you don't, you can use um, you can make flat bread. Of course, uh, flat bread is really good. And um, or also you can make uh, you can have crunchy bread like baguettes. Or, or whatever bread you prefer with this recipe. The other thing you can serve it with is you can serve it with some rice. If you if you boil boil some rice and and serve it with it, or you can um, make couscous. And the the real thing is like with bread. Uh, this kind of of tagine is e e eaten with bread. But you can uh, like um, make some couscous and. Um, and serve it with the couscous and that would be something really nice as well tasty <laughs> i wonder why um well i have to, i will take um i will take a photo of this uh, recipe if we don't 
um, once it's um, you take the photo and send this to the group so you see how it is and how it's uh, how it looks if you cooked any of the recipes please share your don't forget share your uh, photos with us and uh, yeah that's something that i would really encourage if you can do that it would be great it'd be nice to to have a community there where you can share with uh, photos with us of of the recipes we do uh, any well, uh, i know you cook different recipes but if you do something with moroccan food culture just please uh, feel free to share them with me i would love to see them uh, yeah if you have any questions just please keep just put them down on the chat i will um, i will get back to you i'll be around um another hour later then uh, just answer your questions or whatever Okay, so this is, you can see now, it's getting, it started to bubble and start to, the steam is coming up. And that's, I use these vegetables, I just to think, oh, they won't take a long time, but they will still take a lot of, uh, like, more than, uh, more than the time for, for what we, we are allowed uh, in the session. But... Like I said, I would try and uh, put uh, the, the pictures on. If uh, once you, you, you see it start to bubble like that and uh, boiling, what you can do, just take your spoon and pour some gravy from the top of the, yeah, just like this and go like that on, on the vegetables. So everything it's again, soaked with the gravy and steam it's called, they call it slow cooking for a reason is it <laughs> I, uh, this is really um, that's it's not it's no uh, it's no rush for it you have to have time uh, in your hand to do this kind of cooking. There are some other other recipes that where well, I will show you uh, one one of these days that they are quicker. Because this is this kind of food. When you hear tagine, you always have to have a, at least one hour. Like for this one, I would say one hour um, to uh, to hand, so you can see all the vegetable cooked. I, I sometimes leave it just slow, like put it on slow and just leave it to cook gently. Yeah, any questions, please, please let me know. I'm, I'll be still around and uh, please don't, uh, don't uh, uh, just whatever questions comes to mind, just let's share them and share your photos if you made this recipe or the, any old recipes um, for, uh, from Moroccan food culture, just let me know and say, uh, share them with me. Uh, if you want to say something, some other things that I do um, at the moment, uh, just like uh, have a look on my uh, on Instagram. There is There are some photos there and some, some little things that I, I have there. Um, well, thank you. Um, I would say thank you very much for joining me today. And um, I'm afraid I can't. Uh, this would take uh, take more time to cook, but I will put the photo for the end results um, on the on Instagram, or I will put it on um, on the, on the Facebook page when I uh, when I uh, take it today. Any questions, any questions, please feel free to ask. I keep saying that. Yeah. I can't see any 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 here, but I will I know I will see them later. Yeah. 
And it says big quantity now. I, I would say this would feed three adults, three to four uh, adults, like, yeah, that would, uh, would be. I mentioned before, if you want to add um, any, like halloumi, I, I, I missed that bit. Um, so if like you know when I made the sauce I, I said leave some out you can you can make some that sauce you can mix it like put some halloumi slice it and mix it like just cover it with that and fry the halloumi in the, in shallow flour fry just both sides not not for long so it doesn't go rubby and and uh, like um, it doesn't go like um, uh, what's he call it like plastic. It, it, it stays good. So just two to three minutes each side, and um, and put it. Then after you do that, take it out of the fryer and put it on the top of your um, of your uh, vegetables. That would give you another option to to have something special as well. And um, if not, if you have um, if you have a, a mozzarella uh, like a balls, just half them and put them on the top and put some gravy on the top of that. That would make it like extra special for you if you don't want only vegetables. Well, thank you very much for, to, for today. I will put a photo on the Facebook page and please give me some, uh, some um, send me some photos and uh, uh, also please um, stay, stay, stay safe and uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye now.